Same old me. But Corey, what game did you trash that led to the developers sliding into your DMs? I can't call this dude out. Nobody watches the sap content on Twitch or YouTube anyway. This is as stealthy as it's going to get, okay? Spend a trumpet to deal three damage to a random enemy. Do we have any means of, of achieving a trumpet? I don't know. It's some lone developer? Chad's saying you said that Tetris is too woke now. Is that true? Did you say that Tetris fell victim to the woke mind virus? I'm waiting. Roll me. I just, I don't like these units. On sell, buff a straw. I don't like any of these units. I don't like any of these units at all. I will, I will buy a frog. I will buy a tamarind and I will buy a kiwi and probably lose. It's not woke enough. How much more woke could it get, man? I'll be like a hard fanboy. <laughs> me when I'm at the AVN awards. I don't know. How, how do you have synergies and also a toy? I don't have anything. Hmm. Choose from one level one toy from tier one. Plus four strength, plus four stam, leather belt. On break, buff the rightmost friend. Sure. And then a strawberry. Honestly, by all means, just, just take it. I, I don't know what I'm doing this weekly. Probably start a battle if you have a toy, gain plus two health. Maybe, maybe you make sense. You ever see that movie with Kevin James and Adam Sandler where there's uh, video games attacking the earth? Um, I believe the movie you're referring to is called Pixels. I have not seen it. At least I haven't seen the whole thing, but I have definitely seen um, when Pac-Man is terrorizing the earth and then they send out the Japanese guy who made Pac-Man and he says, he's not a monster, he's my son. And then he sticks out his hand to like comfort Pac-Man, but then Pac-Man like bites his arm off. That's, that's one of the only things I remember from it. Check this out. Sell me. Sell me. We're going full strawberry. Me when I'm at the grocery store buying food for my kid. You're going to go here. You're going to go here. You're going to get buffed, and I'm, I do not have a level. I do not have a level coming my way. You know what? You're gone. Yeah, you're gone. You're here. And send it. Peter Dinklage cheats at Pac-Man by driving his car fast. Um, I love that for him, though. I don't know. I don't really care about the movie, to be honest. Do you think AC6 is going to be Robot Souls? I don't know, man. It's... I will say the gaming industry is cooked, though. We need a win. I think that the only way gaming survives to 2026 is if uh, Armored Core 6 is the greatest game ever made. It's the only way. And then people say, so, you know what, because uh, you, you're probably spitballing about uh, Armored Core 6 on your uh, stream, Dan. People will say like, uh, oh, Armored Core is not really like Souls. Didn't the last one come out on like the Commodore 64? From Software has not made one in like 18 years because they've been too, bu too busy making like six of the best games ever made in a row, plus Dark Souls 2. That's like saying, you know, if Nintendo took like 30 years off from making Mario's and you're like, oh, I hope the new ones, you know, like Pokemon. And you're like, Mario's not like that. Well, it's not 1987 anymore, brother. They might, they might have learned some lessons over the past two decades. I'm not anti-Armored Core. I'm very excited. It's the last hope for the gaming industry. Two gold for a one-two buff. That seem, it's a heavy price to pay, but pay it I will. We'll level next time. Meet me. On faint, gain trumpets. Not interested. On faint, strawberry friends get buffed. Ooh, 
why didn't you say so? Dan doesn't like Sekiro. Every person is entitled to one um, wrong belief, one demonstrably incorrect belief, without it uh, impacting their credibility. Unfortunately, Dan has two. He doesn't like Sekiro, and he thinks that Prometheus is a 9 out of 10. What about Hades? Okay, and also he does... Everybody's entitled to five insane beliefs without criticism, okay? That sounds right. What are yours? I could beat any fifth grader in America at basketball. That's a big one. A lot of people didn't seem to agree with that one. <laughs> this could be interesting. Watch this. Egyptian vulture activating the faint ability on my dove. And honestly, it should buff you. Will it work? I don't know. We're just having fun anyway. Food poisoning is not real. That bit was taken out of context and continues to be willfully taken out of context by bad actors. But I will say, me personally, you know what I thought would be a very funny uh, tweet? Is, um, you know the, the meme from the, the discourse around Oppenheimer? Or the, not even the discourse, but the meme from Oppenheimer. Where the first picture is like a highly oversaturated Isaac Clark, like brow beating Oppenheimer, and then the second one is uh, Cillian, uh, Killian Murphy looking like this, like, like he's he's hung over and sweating and like panicking. It would be like left. That's my chat. Did you or did you not say that food pays, food poisoning is not real in two thousand and thirteen? And then. Oppenheimer is me having diarrhea 12 times a day, summer 2022. It's not Isaac Clark, it's Jason Clark. Isaac Clark's the guy from Dead Space, isn't he? Yes, <laughs> okay. <laughs> End turn. If this has a strawberry friend, get buffed. Okay. Um, I would say it has a strawberry friend. Take some of this. I don't know. Maybe. Makes sense to me. Did you hear about Paul Rubens? Fuck. I did not. This is the kind of... Th th being a streamer... Listen. It's like the worst thing that can happen during your stream is when someone says, Did you hear about blank? Because you know that like... No one... It's never like... He had a great day today. He got a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. It's always like you're live finding out that people whose work you respected are dead. We gotta start mixing in like some red herrings. Like we should be like, oh, did you hear about um, Taylor Swift? No, what happened? God, no. Oh, her tour is uh, single-handedly saving the American economy. Oh, Good for her! Well done! Librarian, be real with me. I'm, I'm cooked here, aren't I? I know you, just to get ready for videos this week, you must have um, played a bunch of this weekly. How does my team look on turn 8? With, with two wins, two losses, and... Uh, no scaling units except the cassowary. Wait a minute. We got something. Ladies and gentlemen. Take the level just for space. You know you're not getting the next uh, step up. That's fine. Buy strawberries. We didn't get strawberries. Brother, you don't... You know what? You can be here because... You could at least give us a food. You might, you know what? Why not like do one damage? Maybe there'll be like some melon armors you could, eh, it's, it's a tier one food. What do you expect, lobster? Early cassowary scaling is pretty good, but I think trumpets are great tempo. 
It's a damn, like, the, the Super Auto Pets respecter is logged on. Who would have thought, man? We got the inside man. I haven't seen that. Hang on, give me my level. Give me a tier six that, that does stuff with strawberries. Spend four trumpets to gain coconuts. I see the value, but I also see an octopus. Sell me. Octopus is always fun. You're gonna think I've lost my mind. Sell me. Buy me a salad. We're running double shoe bill for now. It's a, it's a bit of a different style. And then we need a strawberry on our octopus, and it's over for them. Ooh! It's actually over for... It's, it's over for me? It's over for them! <laughs> I would say buff me. I would say strawberry. I would say take one of those. There's always chocolate this weekly. There's always money in the banana stand. I'm liking sap a lot lately, but snipers are kind of boring me. I feel like it's too easy to just fill your team with snipers. I think I'm going to plus two you on that one. Sniping's kind of annoying. That's why last week was like the greatest weekly of all time. Snipers, they, they, had, no, uh, they had no quarter this time. Friendly toy repeats its ability as a level one. Hi, do you, do you hear this? Tomo, he's crazy, man. It's, the stream's been going on for like two hours. I have nothing against it, brother, but like, come on. The only sniping I support is in Team Fortress 2. It's been 12 years, okay, since it... Actually, no, it's been like 16 years since it came out, right? Just let it go. I'm sorry, I, I, I hate to be the one to say it, but like, your friends, your family, they're, they're worried about you. We thought Team Fortress 2 was just a phase, we thought maybe you'd move on to something else later, we thought maybe you'd move on to Call of Duty, Modern Warfare 2, thought maybe you'd move on to Tom Clancy's The Division 2, thought maybe you'd become one of those people who became insufferable about Braid, like me, but you're still out here just going... You know, just role-playing in, in all chat. Push the cart! It's player count peaked this summer. Yeah, you know what, what else is player count peaked this summer? Frickin' Earths. So, like, it's not that impressive. Anyway, if, if you're not hitting a peak player count this summer, you should be embarrassed because you're declining relative to the speed of population growth. Okay. Choose a toy from tier six. I do like the mongoose. I'm not hating on TF2. I'm hating on the people that play it. You got me all twisted up here. Give me, um, give me the palm tree for a coconut. Give me... Peanut's really good too. I'd like to shoot twice, though. Yeah, give me that. And ask questions later, or whatever. Give one pet plus two plus two. I, I hate to spend, like, wait, what do you have? Give coconut perk to one random strawberry friend? What the hell? Well, wait, you already... Um, I don't know. We'll try it. <laughs> give me a second here. They might overlap, but we'll see. They don't overlap. When um, are you doing your guest weekly? Great question. The answer is like probably never because I'm, I'm not really like a, a thinker like that. I'm much more of a doer. Tomo, get out of the freaking court. Look at this guy. He's cute as a button. He's purring. Is that something cats do when they're happy or distressed? I don't want to get canceled for animal abuse. Both? <laughs> Buddy?
Hi. He loves the attention. And you know what? I love giving it to him. I do. I cannot tell a lie. I feel like this could go insane if I could just get you leveled up. I feel like you could go insane. I feel like you could go insane. And then maybe a tiger of the woods variety. What's the proper amount to spend on glasses? Listen, like this is... It's an impossible question to answer. I, I'm not mad at you for asking. I'm just saying it's impossible to answer. Because I don't think there is like a lower bound. If you find cheap glasses that are good, who cares if they only cost you like 25 bucks or something like that? But what, what would I... The, the other question is like, what would I consider to be too expensive for glasses? I think if you're paying more than 300 bucks for a pair of glasses, you got to have a conversation with your optometrist. Because like I use... ECAP here, look, ECAP, I'm a former optician. I'm a former optician, DM me if you need advice. ECAP, give me a, a frame of reference here. You can see my frames. I don't know my uh, prescription, but my lenses are so thick that if I stare right at the camera, you can see light like here. You, like it bends the light so much that you can actually, it's like my face is in here. So I think like my, my right eye is like a minus eight or something like that. And my left eye is like a lot better. It's like a minus five and a half. <laughs> what would you consider to be a reasonable? That means you have a high prescription. What's the question? The question was, is this your handwriting? <laughs> Sorry, uh, this is a multiple weekly callback. What was the, well, the question was like, what would you consider to be too, ex what, what would you consider to be a base price for that, uh, for that level of blindness? So I feel like these glasses from Costco, it was like 200 bucks roughly. But it was from, I mean, that you got to factor in the $600, 600, the $60 subscription fee as well. Including lenses? Yeah, including the lenses. The lenses is the other part. The frames are worthless, man. What subscription? The Costco subscription. You know, the card, the membership fee. I think we're selling you. And I know this is... Oh, I, I can't do that, but I can't sell you. I, I can't. You know what? We're rolling this squad. We're rolling this squad till the, till the end. This is the way. And then if anything, like your scaling is good, but if anything, you going up a level would, would hit like a truck, truck, guys like what, what? You know, the thong song is always the song I think of when I see people my age say something like, um, the music these days is so sexual. I don't really think that she should be out here saying, oh, like my badonk be thonkin', drop of my badonk on your pole, thomp thomp. You know what I'm saying? They always think about that. I was like nine years, out, nine years old. Ooh, that dress looks scandalous. Uh, something, something, something. Can't handle this because she got dumps like a truck, truck, truck. Guys like what, what, what? Baby, shake your butt. I think I'll sing it again. We had like a very... Vulgar music in our era, too. You're, I'm horny, let's do it, riding my pony. I'm sitting in the, in the passenger seat of uh, my mom's Ford Ranger, just going, burr, 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 burr. I'm just a bachelor. This is me at nine years old. I'm just a bachelor looking for a partner. Exploring your body, every single corner. 
Baby, when I break you off, you know you won't want to get off your horny list. <laughs> Sorry. But it's true, man. Or something. I don't know. I didn't really think about it. I think we're going to get 10, though. You ever think about that? Oh, uh, I'll break some melons or some coconuts. That could go crazy. The Beatles were horny as hell when they wrote, I want to hold your hand. You know that Ringo originally wanted to call the song. I want to. <laughs> I'm sorry. No matter where it goes, it's too, it's too far. I was going to say that Ringo originally wanted the song to be called I Want to Tongue Your Blank to put it in the match game parlance. Front or back? Front. Dude, the tier one foods go crazy. Librarian, you don't know what you're talking about. We're going to the moon. Look at that, dude. We all got a three, the level three, ten win shoe bill run. Sentences that have never been said before. Moon achieved. Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. Strawberry. Yeah, sure. Yeah, this makes this makes sense. Be a silver sack. Sounds like a beach house song. Yeah, sure. Oh, yeah. You're just a super lady. Is it just me or is there a lot less bugs on the road? Barely any splats on the windshield anymore. Rip insects, bros. So true, except not my experience this summer. Um, my experience this summer is that there have been mosquitoes everywhere and I have been getting bitten nonstop. But if there's less bugs, it's probably because uh, Walmart has been using them to 3D print fake chicken breasts, right? Have you been following up with this uh, conspiracy theory? So true. When was the last time you saw a butterfly? Great question. Um, for me, the last time I saw a butterfly was yesterday. I would say I probably see... If I look outside or go outside right now in the summertime, I see a butterfly. I think I want you to have it. But I think it's also been like a crazy year for bugs. Like, I'm, I've been alive for 34 years. I have a um, bachelor's degree in biology from one of Canada's previously most well-respected uh, academic institutions. I'm seeing like new strains of bugs. Uh, it's, it's not just mosquitoes and spiders and, and praying mantises and stuff anymore. I'm seeing like spiders that fly. I'm seeing mosquitoes that are four times bigger than the average mosquito and pure white. I don't know if it's like a shiny or something that I'm seeing in the... I, I, I think that maybe somewhere in Vancouver there might be like a laboratory making new bugs because I'm, every day I'm seeing a bug that I'm like, I don't know what that is. I know there's a million, right, there's probably millions of different insect species. I'm just saying. Give me my level. I want my level. Oh, that is a strawberry friend. Get plus one, plus one. Don't mind if I freaking do. And then sock it to me right there. You know what? Maybe you could operate from position one. This is crazy. Are you vaxxed? Unrelated question. <laughs> I believe. I believe in God. I am vaxxed, okay? I'm not afraid to say controversial statements like that on my stream. Now, how many times? It's kind of a personal question. It's fucked up that you would ask. Three? I think? I lost count at some point. And then, like, at some point, I think they were like, you could get number four. 
And I kind of like, I read between the lines of the text from the government. It was like, if you want, I guess, we have, hey, we're holding like a dose here for you. If you're interested, you could come in. And I was like, I see what you're saying there. You stopped reporting on the numbers like three months ago, and then you said, stop getting tested. <laughs> so I see what you're saying. Have you got your shingles vaccine? I haven't, but I'd love to, I'd love them to juice me up, man. I don't want to get any of those fucked up illnesses that you can get as an adult that sneak up on you. I don't want shingles. I don't want... What are the other ones you can get vaccinated for as an adult? I don't want HPV. I don't want uh, any, anything with pox in it. Yeah, I don't want any kind of pox, that's for sure. I was 18 when I broke out in shingles. Don't take this the wrong way. I mean, there's no wrong way to take it. But isn't it like if you're like 17 years old and 364 days, it's chicken pox. But if you're 18 years old and zero days, it's shingles. Like, is that how it works? Not at all. All right, never mind. <laughs> Turns out I don't know what I'm talking about. Hey, watch, watch this. This could work. Sell me. Toy me. Radio. Radio, oh, garlic's kind of good. Radio me, sell me. Pangolin me. And then, you're gonna take a level. We'll just take another strawberry friend for the time being. Is my streamer not boosted? I'm boosted like crazy, brother! The boost, the boost respect door has logged on, I think. It's in my Twitter profile. Okay, give me this. We're still going to the moon. Gain 50% Trumpus. What's Twitter, Precious? <laughs> you didn't say Precious, but I wanted you to feel bad about making the same joke that every... Because it's... It, when you make a... I don't make that many 10 out of 10 jokes. I'm not going to lie to you. But then, like... When I make like a 6 out of 10 joke, which are still precious to me, and I say Twitter and people are like, don't you mean X? I'm like, shut up. Go back to posting about how you can't believe they came out with a Haunted Mansion movie in July. As if you would have seen it if it came out in freaking October. Get the DivX rip off of like downloadmovies.com or something. You posted that? Yeah, I know. Some of this. I, I'd like a level, please. NL, have you done Barbie yet? It's such a funny way to phrase that. Have you done Barbie? Bro, come over. We're smoking Barbie tonight. I haven't, um, nor have I done Oppenheimer. I think I'm going to go see um, The Haunted Mansion. Or you know what? I've always thought... Might be a good time to go see something like um, Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny. I really want to know how the story of Indiana Jones ends again. Again, Like, I know it ended the first time, but I'm like, I gotta see how it ends this time. What's your favorite Ice Spice song? Great question. Um, me personally, it's close, but I'd have to say uh, in her mood. That, that would probably be number one for me. I don't have a toy, by the way. You gotta, you gotta get out of here, brother. How do you know who Ice Spice is? Because I'm 34, not like 134. My apologies. <laughs> hey, that, wait, wait, whoa, whoa, why when you said it, it made it... It hurt even more. <laughs> Buff me? I'll freeze to it. You, like, you're not doing anything, so get killed. 
capitalism be like, I don't know, I wasn't proud of that joke. Oh, baby, I'm proud of this, though. The Canadian healthcare industry be like, you're not, sorry. <laughs> Maybe I should be lucky that I can't seem to get a doctor's appointment in Canada. Because it seems like I, every news story that I see about the Canadian medical industry over the past six months is like I went to the doctor for a cough and they signed a form that said I could legally have like painless assisted death if I wanted. And I'm like, that's nice, you know, if you're in the position where that's relevant, but I'm just trying to get like some damn Tamiflu or something. They still make Tamiflu? I don't know. 3.3% of all deaths in Canada last year were made. That can't possibly be true. I don't believe that. That seems too high. I feel like 3.3% of Canadian deaths, if you told me it was snowmobile accidents, I would believe you. Because they're do like, I don't live in a place with like a real winter anymore, but like, when I lived in Ontario, like every winter there'd be a story that's like, you wouldn't believe it. Jeb got on the skidoo and he said, I'm not waiting for the Wolf Island Ferry, I'm just going to take the Polaris across Lake Ontario, and wouldn't you know it, bloop. Are you silly? I'm, still, I'm just going to send it. Okay, this is important, probably. Librarian, we're getting non-stop 10 pieces. I might be the best Super Auto Pets player on the planet, quite frankly. So I can only take one of you dudes. I'm definitely taking you. That's a gimme. And you're gonna get, I need to sell you. You need to get sold. But before you get sold, you need to get leveled. Oh, baby, I don't have anything. This is not good. I guess I will sell you and try you right here. You should get Puma, Puma pants. <laughs> Excuse me? I don't Puma pants. I haven't pooed my pants for a long time. That's gonna sting. Wait a minute, it's not gonna sting! Can I tell you I had a very proud um, mo moment this weekend. We're potty training my daughter still. But she's finally, like the past few months we've been trying to potty train her, she hasn't been receptive to it. And it's really hard to like force a two-year-old to do anything. I mean, I can force them to move through physical space by like picking them up, but that's about it. Like I can't force them to squeeze out a turd on the potty. But we ran this weekend, no, no diapers, no pants. So it's been a little messy. But at the same time, I was so proud yesterday. We were watching Toy Story 2 for the third time this weekend. She looked at me and said, Daddy, I need to go to the potty. I said, let's go! I picked her up like Batman in the 1969 movie carrying the uh, bomb where the fuse is about to go off. Carried her to the potty. She let loose an entire bladder into the toilet. And she was so proud of herself. I was like, oh my God! And Kate was like, that's incredible, you're incredible. And she was getting all like bashful and stuff. I feel like we're finally, we're making progress, which is very important because I don't know if there's other parents watching this, probably wouldn't surprise me. People do be having kids. I need a strawberry, by the way. Bye, choose one level one toy from tier four. You don't, well, hang on just one second. You don't need to be here. Why don't you come out here? Let's see what toy we get. Rightmost friend, Melon. Six damage to the last enemy. Six damage, let's do six damage, lowest health. Freeze me. And we need a strawberry. Stra Whoa. <laughs> um, just take this for now. Anyway. 
two and a half years old is kind of like a, an awkward age for like extracurricular activities. There's lots of activities for babies. You know, you go to the library, they'll like read them a story or something like that for half an hour, just something to get you out of the house, right? And if your kid is like three, then they can start taking classes at the community center, you know, day camps and stuff like that. But if your kid is like two and a half, you need to get them potty trained because otherwise they can't do anything. <laughs> Just great. I've, I've been having a great time spending a lot of time with my daughter, don't get me wrong, but I don't have any skills. I can't teach her ballet. I can't teach her, you know, basic conversational Chinese or anything like that. She's got to start going to the potty so that the community center would actually like be like, okay, you can come to the classes now. And then her life can really start getting enriched. Just kidding, his perspective. He's like 10 feet behind me. <laughs> oh, man, you should have seen your face. <laughs> ah, Jesse Pinkman. Oh, man. I don't know, why does it take me so long to play Super Auto Pets these days, man? I'm experiencing slow brain death, I think. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. It's kind of fun, though. ADHD or something? Yeah, I don't know, it's possible. Cause like, I can't get an assessment until three years from now or something like that. So I'm just gonna assume that I got it. Cause it gives me like a good excuse. All right, you got me. Island boy, you got me. Why on earth are you freezing the crocodile? Cause I'm a legend. To answer your question, we don't need mongoose. Mongoose is not. Mongoose is very relevant. Unfreeze me, unfreeze me, watch this. Get sold, and guess what, brother? You just became a freaking peanut user. Yeah, yeah, you did. Hey, NL, did you see that one of the. Island Boys is gay. I didn't see that, but I'm going to say good for them. That's where I'm going to fall on this issue. <laughs> I don't know if you expected anything else, but <laughs> if you were wondering what my thoughts are on that, I'm for it. I think they should live their best life. Oh, I've got a... Oh, what? What the hell are they cooking, bro? Wait a minute, we still won. But how did they get four uh, death touch? Weren't they like really racist or something? Oh, so racist people aren't allowed to live according to their true selves anymore? Is that what you're trying to say? Didn't they murder a dude? I think you're asking a variety of questions here, okay? Did they murder a dude? No. One of them was arrested, I think, for murder. But I don't know if they murdered anyone or they were just accused of murdering someone. How do you know all this? It was big news, bro. In it, it was these were revelations that shook the island boy community to its core. This seems bad. How many coconuts are you getting out of this? One, two. Ooh, you're a large lad. <laughs> you're a very large lad indeed. Give me this. Now give me the give me the double peanut. Thusly.
I feel like you're not doing enough. You need to come out here. You're the lad who's going to win the day for us. What class and race are you going to play in Baldur's Gate 3? Race is easy. I'm going to be uh, Caucasian. And I think for class, I'm going to spec into Father. I'm going to be a Caucasian Father. <laughs> oh, get drawn! Meta pick, minus two. What the hell? What do you what do you mean by this? Speak on that for a second. What do you mean? What do you mean by that? I don't want you to level up yet. Librarian, I don't think we're making it on this one, honestly. I'm a little sus on this one. Wait, you don't have I don't have a second strawberry. But I, that's good though, that's good. Cause I can do this and we're going for broke. Give me peanut and run this, 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 this. My best Faith Hill impression. This, 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 this. Unvisible. Huge, enormous, insano mode. Okay, we can do this. Change nothing yet. Level the tiger, please. Level the tiger. I said, do you speak of my language? She just smiled and gave me a Vegemite sandwich. You guys ever think, I was listening to a lot of the police this weekend. Do you ever think that it's possible that the police are um, the thinking man's men at work? Uh, we're cooked on this one. There's no chance the bear's gonna eat us alive. Don't get me wrong, I'm, if, if Men at Work has one enjoyer, it's me. Oh, we're cooked, aren't we? <laughs> but I feel like Men at Work, over their whole career, made one great police album. And the police over their whole career made like four great police albums. And the singers found very similar. I cannot overstate how little I think about the police or men at work. You never hear like synchronicity too in, uh, in public? Or something I gotta say something said something said something got us <laughs> you know what I'm saying police drummer goes hard I think the police are pretty good I think you know what maybe it's gonna be the fall of the police and I named it thusly so that you can talk about it online without people canceling you that's the song you think of when you think about the police? Yurt. I feel like the police don't get enough credit. I, I don't like their their singles like all that much necessarily. Like, um, you know, message in a bottle, a little uh, overplayed, a little shallow and pedantic. I don't know what happened, but you crushed me here. Nine wins, I'll take it. This has to be on purpose? What, what has to be on purpose when I said that I... I'm talking about the band, the police. This isn't a normal Twitch stream. Here we talk about stuff that we understand, like music and stuff like that. We don't talk about complex socioeconomic issues, except for me being triple vaxxed. <laughs> 